But back here at home, the big problem isn't the coronavirus, it's the flu. It's been widespread for weeks and doctors find themselves fighting an invisible enemy. Angela Vargas starts us off with a health alert. <coughs> the sound of the flu is what's going around. How many patients have you seen so far this year with the flu? <laughs> hmm. That's a good question. I don't have any exact figures, but we've seen enough. <laughs> yeah. Patient first Dr. Aldo Dumlao says this flu season is worse than the last. We're seeing a lot of uh, flu mixed with other respiratory gastrointestinal illnesses. Uh, kind of a mixed bag of everything. Dr. Dumlao explains there are two strains of the flu, A and B. And many people are also being diagnosed with another deadly infection. People are coming in with what they feel like is a flu, for example, and then when it turns out, it's, it's pneumonia. Dumlao says it's never too late to get the flu shot or even get it a second time. Wow, Angela, this is pretty serious. What do we know about the numbers? How many people in Virginia have died of the flu this season? Well, the Virginia Department of Health says 773 people have died with cases of pneumonia or flu-related deaths. And in North Carolina, there have been 90 flu deaths so far this season. Wow. All yeah, right. It's very serious. serious. Thank, right, you. thank you. Let's look at the big picture now. It has been a brutal flu season. 41 million cases across the country were logged since October, and that led to 19 million trips to the doctor's office. About half a million were serious enough to send people to the hospital. In all, about 41,000 deaths are being blamed on the flu. 